Now on Inside Look, we relive some of the amazing stories of Dunk. My brother Dominique playing against Milwaukee. They throw the ball to Dominique on the wing, and the whole team collapses on him. Down low for Dominique. Baseline drive. Dominique. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that jam? I don't know how he did that. Dominique. Bob Lanier had covered the rim, and I turned sideways. And I turned back around in the air and dunked it on him. That still sticks out in my mind. I just know, you know, anytime Chicago comes in town, you have to leave your family and everybody else home. You don't want to be embarrassed. Now the ball's beat the pressure. Jordan from Hudson. Look out. And Ali went up and there on the fast break. And all of a sudden, Jordan went up about 10 or 12 more notches than I did. You know, not ashamed to say you stand there in awe. I, I still were have vivid mem memories of a uh, Dr. J tomahawk dunk. Eaton had stayed back, but here comes Irving anyway. He went up over the top of me and came crashing down and about took the rim off the backboard and uh, just kind of left me standing there uh, with spalding across my head. People don't realize as I played 15 minutes that night and I fouled out and, and I was a little bit upset because I thought I was getting some bad calls. And, uh, and I just needed some way to, to show my anger out. Kemp picks Mark Jackson, gets the give and go. Oh! It was no way that we thought he could dunk the basketball, but he proved us all wrong. Oh, please, let's see that again, a hundred times. Well, I think it was one when Chambers uh, went over Mark Jackson. Uh, I mean, that was an awesome dunk. Two on one, KJ to Chambers, yeah! Oh, boy. When he hit Mark, he was already high. But when he hit Mark, he went a little higher, and uh, he just tore the rim down. Dominique, it's a tip jam. He comes over about two of his teammates back and just jump right over one hand, just throws it down through the hoop. I mean, it's just awesome. You, you see that, you be like, God. i tell you a story that I think summed the whole thing up. We was playing in Chicago in Salt Lake. Uh, they switched and put John Stockton on him. And he turned around and dunked on Stockton. So some guy got up and almost followed him down the sideline and said, hey, Jordan, pick on somebody your own size. So next time down the floor, <laughs> he dunked on Mel Turpin. And went over and looked at the guy and said, was he big enough? <laughs>